Hey, it's Joe Farrow with Geek Toolkit, and this is where my Home Assistant setup is right now. If you've been following along, you can see there's a couple of new things here. These um, four lights right here are added. I've got a couple of scenes that are added and a couple of switches. These all came off of an application called Tuya. Tuya has an app for iPhone and Android that um, will allow you to pair and control devices. And what their company basically is, is they, they have a cloud and they license their cloud to hardware manufacturers so that their stuff works with the cloud. And then their cloud talks to other clouds like, well, the big A and the big G. This means that I can talk to my device and it will uh, control my lights and so on. They also do some, what they call AI, they do some smarts inside of their cloud to do things like understand when the sun rises and sunsets in your area. And they do that by, you basically tell the app, hey, this is where I'm located. Now, when we talk about smart homes, it would be remiss of me to not mention security and privacy. If I'm putting my location in an application that is sending it out to the cloud and that cloud has a security leak, then I've given up some very important data. There's a couple of different ways to handle this. One is to flash the firmware on the device with what's called Tasmoda. DigiBlur DIY did an amazing tutorial on this. So if you were concerned about security and privacy, I would jump over to his video. I'll link to it in my comments and he'll tell you how to flash the devices that run um, the Tuya cloud with another service. And that service will keep everything local. Tasmoda is a local uh, service that you, the data will never leave your home. This also saves you a bit of round tripping, which means that things are gonna be a bit faster, which is nice. So you can add speed and security um, if you're worried about it. For me, I really like that my lights turn on and off at dawn and I haven't had time to, to reflash my stuff. So what I simply did is put my devices on a separate Wi-Fi network than my main one. And I lied in the app about where I live and blocked the location services. So that's another approach that you can take as well. Now that I've gotten that kind of disclaimer out of the way, let me show you how to add this in a fashion. This is the Tuya Home Assistant page that talks about how this is done. And the reason I show this is because if you understand this, you'll understand how to do quite a few other integrations. Basically, if you find the Home Assistant page for it and you read through, then you'll get to here, which is what you'd put in your YAML file. You don't have to edit YAML much anymore. There are different ways to do integrations, but for Tuya, I found I had to. And you can see that I've used the Tuya app to set up my lights and everything. So I just have to use the account that I set up in that app for username, password, and then country code. I'm in the United States, which is one, but there's a link um, here. So all of the parameters that are there are explained here if they're required or not. And this will say the country code. You can see the optional parameters as well here, which is kind of handy. So what does this actually look like? Well, in configurator, I've added a Tuya section here, and then you see this exclamation point secret. What that means is this word here is in my secret YAML file. And I can, you'll see it's the secrets.yaml. And that has the actual value for this. The same here. I'll show you an example of what that would look like. So you see Tuya username, and this is a secrets YAML file. And then there's a username and then a password. The reason I'm showing this is if you're ever doing a demo or if you're sharing out your YAML file to debug stuff, or if you're sharing it to show other pe others how you did something, these are all great reasons to share your configuration YAML file, but you don't want your account info in there. So this is how Home Assistant handles that. They do this exclamation point secret, and then they do uh, like a token, and then in the YAML file, you put the actual values. When you have these three values entered, so all you have to do now is go to HASIO system and reboot. When your device reboots, anything that you've added to your Tuya app should show up here. 
and it should be on a two-way state system where the Tuya app and this should stay in sync. This includes not only just lights and devices, but you can see also the scenes I've set up. These are automations that I've set up in the Tuya app. These are set up using the automation for um, sun, sunrise and sunset. One cool thing about keeping the Tuya app available is if my home assistant device does go down, this stuff still works. So that's kind of a nice thing about it. The other thing is I don't really care about the latency of my lights that are outside turning on and off, but my lights inside my house, I'll probably flash to the Tasmoto firmware. And I'm looking forward to doing that the next chance I get. I'll probably do a video again. I don't want to, to try to top what um, Digital Blur did because he's such a knowledgeable person. He did such a great job on this. But I might do a video just to talk about my experience with it and how it worked or didn't work. One last thing to note is there have been reports that if you connect your device to Tuya, it will flash the firmware and you may not be able to flash it to Tasmoda. Um, this is actually an indicator that the Tuya app is trying to make things more secure, but it's also something to know that if you were trying to go to Tasmoda, maybe you don't want to pair it right away. All right, I want to keep this episode short, so that's all I have. If you have any comments or questions, please put them down below. And uh, the next one I'm going to get into, I've seen a couple of people ask about Node Red, and I'll do a basic Node Red tutorial that I think will be very useful now that I've shown you how to add a bunch of devices. Thanks for watching. Joe Farrow with Geek Toolkit. Till next time.